up guys, Malachi here. Today, I wanted to emphasize a little bit more on the Leafy and iDubbbz dispute, if you can call it that. It's not really a dispute when one side gets fucking slaughtered. But anyways, uh, a little bit more about that. So, you've seen Content Cop, you've seen Content Deputy, you've seen Leafy's response, it's weak as shit, and we'll get more into that a little bit later. Now, I want to start this video off by saying I'm well aware that I'm bandwagoning, but I have wanted to make this video for a little while, and I'm pretty happy that iDubbbz paved the way. Now, I agree with every single point that iDubbbz made, and the only issue I have is he could have gone much more in depth with a lot of this, which is what I'm going to do today. So, systematically, iDubbbz brought up Leafy's an insecure pussy, talked about the anti-insult, talked about pleading ignorance, talked about his relationship with Keemstar and his repetitively using the word literally. He also talked about how Calvin is a 20-year-old grown man, so that criticism is null and void. He goes on a huge tangent about the transition slides, which, which is absolutely hysterical because it's such a minor complaint. And the fact that Leafy fucking changed his slides, it just, it just tells you everything that you need to know. And then, last but not least, he, he does the whole no chin segment, which starts off with the fucking hard to watch, just embarrassing YouTube meetup that Calvin attended. So anyways, let's dig a little bit deeper. This is the part of the video where Leafy loses. Now here, if you're watching this, Calvin, let me explain something to you. You lost this interaction within 30 seconds of creating your response. As soon as you did fucking this, this noticeable shit where you're trying to pretend to look the other way to show people that you have a chin, you just made every single one of Ian's point that much more concrete. A fucking moron. Now, here's the thing with the YouTuber meetup. I feel like Ian cut this video way too short. Because if you watch it, yes, you do get a sense of how timid Leafy is. But it goes so much deeper than that. So, yeah, here's the nice little money shot or profile shot. But then if you keep watching it, you notice how Leafy repeatedly asks where Keemstar is. Now watch this. We see Keemstar. Justin, he will soon. I don't know. Where's Keemstar? Where's Keemstar? Is Keemstar over there? Is Keemstar over there? He sounds like a lost fucking child. This man is so out of his goddamn element, and he's just looking for someone to hold his hand. Now this is the biggest call out for how insecure and antisocial Leafy is. Now, ignoring the rest of this meetup where people make cardboard fucking signs about good guy Keemstar, let's look at this next part. So this is this part right here is Keemstar's actual arrival. Now, you can actually tell by looking at Keemstar that he's very confident in this type of situation. He, he waltzes in, and here's the best part. He fucking breezes past Calvin. He doesn't even acknowledge him. He goes and talks to the fans, further solidifying how fucking pathetic Leafy is at this point. Do you see this? He just gets ghosted. Keemstar goes and talks to the fans, and he's interacting with them. And then one of them pulls out a little garden gnome and gives it to him. And this is where you also see how conflict avoidant Leafy is. He whines in this prepubescent voice. Unintelligible, but he's basically saying, oh, it was just a joke, it was just a joke because he's so afraid of any sort of conflict. And now, hearkening back to Idub's point, you can see why he's afraid of conflict. You go back to this profile shot. Yes, hashtag no chin. I guess it's hilarious, but we let's expand on that. So it's there's been scientific studies that have proven a receding chin or a smaller chin relates directly to lack of testosterone. Not only do you have this guy's voice right here. Fucking seriously, this? What the fuck? Just look at this lanky, noodle-looking motherfucker. He, he looks like he's 130 pounds of straight-up bitch, essentially. And that's the problem I have. Leafy is the embodiment of a keyboard warrior. He would never say anything to anyone's face, and I can prove it. So this next segment we're looking at is 
it's it's very amusing. Just just puts everything into perspective. We're getting a a room tour of Leafy's. This shows that first and foremost, here we have what is that? Minecraft as a screensaver or just playing in the background? So we have a Minecraft Let's Player that has anime posters all over his fucking wall. Just look at this. This is just the embodiment of a keyboard warrior. The only thing that's different about Leafy is he's not a fat fuck. But that doesn't mean he's not a pathetic piece of shit. So looking at this as a whole, we have the backlit keyboard so that he can game at all hours of the day, as well as an allude to him living in his basement when he says, down here. <laughs> And then we have this this amazing tough guy persona, which only gets funnier as he gets more Fucking popular. Hard. Here we have Leafy, here we have Leafy, here we have Leafy, here we have Leafy. Now if you'll notice anything, that he's always wearing a hat, always wearing a hoodie, and he's trying his hardest to really display the fact that he's a cool guy. So this this kid tries so hard to be cool that it's very apparent and very obvious. In this video, he becomes the uncreative cliche that I've seen him as this whole fucking time. So, oh boy, 420, 420, 420, he smokes a little bit of weed and then does his little video. And later on in the video, he talks about how he doesn't really smoke weed that often. How he's only done it a couple of times and for his video he did it a couple of months ago. And then you have this persona that he tries to hide behind, this, this little cartoon character with two fucking joints up his nose. And for his 4.2 million subscriber special, he smokes a fucking egg because he already smoked weed. This edgy little fucking phony is such a fucking act. It's, it's so easy to see just looking at him. Fucking skateboarding clothes doesn't fucking skateboard if he skateboards. I guarantee you he can't even do a fucking kickflip because this is just the image that he wants to portray to the world. And the the fact that <laughs> he spent so long trying to debunk the fact that he was <laughs> insecure speaks volumes towards how insecure he really is. And I'm actually going to make another video in the vein of Leafy where I systematically crucify one of his older cringy videos. Now, I know that that word probably pissed you off. And I used it on purpose, cringe. And iDubbbz touched on this a little bit with the term literally. Let's add on to the chorus of words that get repeated a thousand times a video. We have cancer, which is oh so fucking hilarious. Goddamn, oh my god, uh, cringe. And that's the and that's the thing. It's just so formulaic and it's so so boring and uncreative. And that's the next point I wanted to make is his content is super formulaic. I, I get why these words were used is because these helped him become popular and because they're apparently edgy and cool to use on the internet. That's fine. The internet's filled with morons that spam the comment section. But the fact that he hasn't deviated from these just shows how lazy and uncreative he is. If he were to do one second of research, he could do a different disease. There's fucking thousands of diseases. If you want to be known as someone that's not a stagnant, unfunny, conformist piece of shit, then you could do one second of research and have a little bit of a new fresh take on your content. But I understand that that's too much work for him. I do, because he's got to pump out a video every single day. So this is a video from a couple of months ago where Keemstar... Leafy and Pyrocynical are all on drama alert, and Pyrocynical and Leafy are tasked with a playground battle, an insult war from back in the day. And I remember these pretty clearly. They were they were fun. They were like, your mom's so fat, or you're so fat, or you're so dumb, shit like that. So this is where we get to see Leafy on a Skype call without any sort of script or preparation to see how good he is in the moment. And 
as you'll notice, every single one of his insults is incredibly generic. All that Leafy does is calls Pyrocynical these stupid fucking terms. He calls him a snowman. He calls him a banana peel. He tells him he looks like a Sour Patch Kid. Tells him he looks like a grapefruit. It's so lazy of comedy. And this is just actually going to be me really asking Leafy's fans what aspect of this that they enjoy. Do you go to your friends and start calling them grapefruits and bananas and shit? This is like all those stupid fucking challenges that have popped up where it just proves how mindless these fucking idiots are. Everyone bandwagons onto this shit. And I know, I'm a bandwagoner, but this is different. Right? Maybe? It's, it's not. I'm, I'm a piece of shit. I'm a moron too. Whatever. Yeah, so we, we're looking at this insult battle, and it's so clear that he can't dig any deeper, and he has to have an assortment of memes and popular opinions, essentially, to extract his comedy from. So that's why, I mentioned this earlier, that's why the cancer, literally, cringe is so prevalent in every single one of his videos. It's absolutely obvious. It's blatant, in fact, that he... He brings nothing new to the table, and it's been stagnation this whole time. And the fact that he can't go any deeper than a physical appearance roast, and I fucking hate saying roast because there's it's so fucking dumb. There's roast comics out there that just make fun of the way you look, and it's lazy. It's so goddamn lazy. There's no effort in it. It's like, oh, that's a fat guy. Obviously, that's a fat guy. That fat guy spilled barbecue sauce on his shirt when he ate. What a fucking fat slob. That's not comedy. That's fucking lazy observational assessment. It's not fucking funny. Anyways, and this is really evident when Leafy tries to retaliate against iDubbbz. iDubbbz has a slew of content out there where you could pick and choose from. But Leafy does the stupidest fucking thing imaginable. And this is also a very effeminate thing, is he makes fun of the guy's looks. He tries to equate the worst insult he can think of when he pulls up this guy's picture is a receding hairline. And I want you guys to know that this is also projection. So Leafy's worst insult that he can lob at another YouTuber is that he's balding when he has nowhere else to go. Now this is very interesting because it shows a couple of things. It shows first and foremost that Leafy can't dig any deeper than skin deep. That's where all of his content's gonna come from. That's that's where his insult base is gonna remain unless he gets some help from the comment section. That's that's all he's got. He's gonna say, oh this guy looks like an idiot. And that's all he has. He can't talk about why the guy is an idiot. He just is like, he looks stupid. Look at these glasses. Look at this fucking idiot. So Yes, he made fun of Idubs for having a receding hairline, and this shows how much emphasis he puts onto his own hair. So him saying, oh, it's coming from Mr. Receding Hairline over here, he's hyper aware that his hair is one of the only things that makes him conventionally attractive, which factors back into the image that he tries to portray for people. So this greasy hair is, to him, in his mind, a part of his personality. It's just another aspect of him being able to get attention. Or Because who fucking cares if you're bald? And this is my final point of the video. Leafy, in my mind, is the fucking Simon Cowell of YouTube. You know that guy from American Idol from back in the day who all he did was made fun of other singers when he had no singing talent of his own? That's Leafy. And here's the even better part is Simon Cowell constantly uses the exact same insults. That's the worst song I've ever heard. I can't believe you got this far. Why didn't you stay singing in the shower? He uses the same shit over and over again, and these fucking idiots ate it up so much, in fact, that it blossomed his career. So in conclusion, I would say that hashtag no chin is pretty funny, but hashtag no spine is more appropriate.